Hey, casual citizens, welcome to another week of Ghostbusters. I'm your co-host, Matt. Uh, and I'm probably the other host named Dan. Yes. I don't know. I and Vinkman's taking a nap because I don't, I don't remember exactly what happened oh, in the last episode. Uh-oh. My hi. computer... My computer just crashed for a second. It's uh -oh. all good. Okay, everything's fine. Um... <laughs> I had so much, so many computer problems trying to get this thing to set up. Yeah, it we just just for recording today. I, I turned on my my main PC. I was like, oh, I'm gonna use that this time because that's more powerful. Right. I couldn't even get that thing to run Audacity. Which is uh, the audacity of that situation. <laughs> yes. And so I booted up my laptop, well, which I read, normally use, but nothing about and that. it just I know didn't boot up. Yeah. So I had to like, keep trying and trying, it and finally it started. There's a donut on the wall. There is. <laughs> I find that that's the funniest thing about this whole situation. It's like, there's eh, just a donut on the wall. That's the funniest thing in this whole game. Whole game! Oh, he's awake! Wow. Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. He yes, he yes. told fortunes. That's what you missed. <laughs> so they're trying to figure out. Oh, I remember. We we did, we went through the library, and now we're trying to figure out what the symbol was and what it means that showed up on the wall. Uh, so they're they're kind of solving that out. I do not remember that. That's okay. You don't have to. Do you remember us fighting the collector? No. Uh, well, we fought the collector in the ghost world. And oh, killed him. Yeah, we killed him dead. Yeah, Again. This is one of those games that just kind of goes right through my head. That's okay. For me, I'm like, yes, I know all these references. <laughs> so they're actually talking about... Still got that cough? Yeah. It hasn't gone away. It's great. Um... Throat crabs. Throat crabs? I got them throat crabs. They pinch. Yeah, and I cough. They're a disgrace. Um, thank you. If you, <laughs> it, I don't know if you remember from the original movie when they're in the jail, they're talking about Evo Shandor, who designed the building that Dana Barrett's apartment is, or I should say, he designed that apartment. He's the guy they're talking about right now. He built the library. He built the uh, the hotel and stuff. So they're like, oh, okay, we're, put, we're they're starting to put the puzzle pieces together. Shandor is was a ginormous douche <laughs> to say. There you go. Makes sense. Dude, hitting that desk <laughs> or the chair that is obnoxious. Anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, so I'm just gonna go downstairs. <laughs> okay. Assuming I go I to the... I know everything about this game. Dude, I, uh -huh. it took me uh -huh. so long to... Uh -huh. I beat it so long ago. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. Not that. true. Here we go. You beat it the other week. No, it was like three weeks ago. I don't know. Well, they're so all back upstairs. <laughs> you should get a closer look at the museum. Hooray! What? Egon was walking downstairs, and now that that exposition ended, they're all back upstairs sure talking again. Okay. So now we're going to the museum, but Walter Peck, who's in cha in charge of uh, Peacock, who's supposed to prevent us from doing stuff, as we're going behind his back and we're going to the museum anyway, he doesn't want us there. There's an Evo Shandor exhibit. Or, I'm sorry, a Gozer exhibit. Yeah, Joe, the Peck. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's happening. All right, enough, enough. We're going to we're at the museum. <laughs> Rats! 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 What? You play any more of the Star Wars? No, I've been doing nothing but homework. Yeah, it's super fun. I have. It's so fun. I think when uh that is for the class that is HR management. Uh, One of my favorite things that I've, I've read in that book so far was the best way to avoid angriness about layoffs is to avoid them all together. I was like, that's... <laughs> yeah, to, just, yeah, if you don't want people to get mad about it, yeah, th then don't have them. That, that was their solution. I was like, really? Really? That's... Just, uh, <laughs> I, I was just like... 
sweet advice. It's literally in there. Like, it's not even a, um, like, I, I, I can't make it up. It's in the book. If you don't want somebody to get mad at you for layoffs, then don't, then don't do layoffs. Don't get mad. Yeah, like, what? And my favorite part, actually, even on top of that, I'm looking for a, uh, an artifact, by the way. That's why I'm wandering around. Um, which apparently I'm not going to find it, so whatever. Um, they were like, you know, to avoid that kind of stuff and to make people not mad, you know, you need to hey, appropriate business plans and plan ahead and make sure, you know, you never need to lay anybody off. You know, the, the plane industry took a hit after 9-11 and, you know, you need to be able to plan ahead for that. What? <laughs> I, I was, yeah, like, I understood the point they were making, but they picked the absolute wrong example for it. You need to expect your, your building is gonna get hit by a plane. Yeah, ex expect that a natural disaster will happen that it, it explicitly impacts your business. Like, wow. Okay. That's a little insensitive. <laughs> Why do you have- is that the class that the, the college is making you take? No, that one I no longer have to take. Who's in there? Or the one you're thinking of. The- the how to be prepared to pass college classes after you already have a bachelor's degree and you are three years into your class. Or your, this college. Get in here and clear this off, please. So they cleared that up for everybody or you just complained? Just- I reached out and complained and they uh, they said yeah, no. So I'm assuming they probably had to clear it up with the person who said I had to- had to take it. You good? Uh, right. But yeah, there's probably some people now who are having to take that class that no longer needed to. Yeah, that, it was just, just dumb. I have a bad feeling about those things. Why? Well, you know, <laughs> in movies. I mean, yeah, they are that ninth season of Doctor Who. That's yeah. that's fun. Twilight Zone. Yeah, you know. you know, those kinds of things. All those things. Yeah, that's not uh, the issue. There it is again. Oh, Don't let it that's the issue. That's the issue. You'll have to go through me first. Where's not Zach Baggins? Yeah, right. Did you know he's releasing a new book? No. Yeah, I it's. No, he had another book. He he has two books, so this is his third one. It's basically like ghost hunting for dummies. It's basically what it is. <laughs> Sounds good. Ray, he's he's been slimed. All right, now we gotta capture this ghost. Hello. Okay, somebody's crossing the streams with me, and that's not okay. It's not a fine. It's the opposite of fine. So yeah, this this introduces the concept that there are ghosts in this level that will possess uh, other players, or the uh, Ghostbusters themselves and other people. Get in there. Atta girl. Right. You guys are really good. Thank you. Thank you, fat man. <laughs> Dan. Uh-oh. Folks, Dan may have exited. Oh, no. Well, I guess this is now the Matt show while Dan uh, is figuring out things on his end. I probably will have to edit his audio out <laughs> this segment. <laughs> Just because I got the video. Oh, challenges, as uh, my one coworker likes to say. Uh, shout out to TJ by then. Uh, yeah, I just got a text from Dan. Well, my computer decided to restart. Just gonna keep. Just keep going, I'll be back. So, Dan will be back at some point. Um, you know, whatevs. It happens to the best of us. Uh, ooh, I wonder if he's even gonna have audio for this episode. Now that is a question. I guess I'll have to pull it from OBS. You guys aren't gonna know that until this moment. I'll have known it. You know, that's okay. Oh, vankman has gotta get some food. That's Peck. For those who don't remember, look at that guy on the right. That little goatee. He's fun. He called him a beggar. That's not okay. That's inappropriate. Dan says he's gonna set his computer on fire. I believe it! Uh oh. That's uh, Alyssa, by the way. She looks different for some reason. It's probably the hair. Oh, and she's possessed. 
Oh, there she goes. I like to also do lifts, but not those kinds of lifts. I personally like to not do the uh, possessed kind of lifts. Oh, that is very loud. Why do the good ones always play hard to get? That's a good question. This lady. Yep. What in the hell is going on here? That's a great question there. Uh, people are being possessed at your party. At, at the Gozer exhibit. Oh, he's doing the cha-cha slide. Yep. Ooh, okay. So yeah, that's uh, that happened. So I guess we'll do this for a hot minute. Uh, so the point of this area is I got to depossess some people with green slime. The green slime is positive, positive vibe slime, if you remember from the second movie, which maybe you don't, and that's okay. That movie was uh, just okay, just okay. And they laugh like that, which is just weird. Nah, super big fan of that laugh. Which I guess is the idea. They're supposed to be scary ghosts. Anyway, throw in the trap. Let's see how quickly I can catch this guy. And in the trap. In the trap. The one thing the Ghostbusters will do in this game is they'll fight you to go have the ghost go in their trap. Uh, it doesn't really matter what trap goes in so long as you catch him. So uh, it's it, it's interesting. It's an interesting uh, issue. Oh, they're all in there. Hello. But I like that those people are just walking around casually like nothing's happening. Like that guy's got it. He's freaking out. Get you some slime, friend. Get you some slime. Uh oh. Uh. Whoop. Rome. <laughs> Hello, lady. Oh, there she goes. Man, imagine if these blasts actually cause damage. Like, if on the hardest difficulty, if you actually hit uh, the Ghostbusters, it would fry them. And you have to start over. This game would be near impossible. I'm sure it, it, it would be, eventually. But, or some people could do it. I don't know that I, even I'd have the patience for that. If we're going to be honest. So, oh, there she is. There's our friend. She's all the way up top there. Hanging out. Oh, hello. Oh, ow. That was that was a little painful. Just gonna spray this guy. Ooh, that business suit. I hope that's not an expensive suit because this guy's gonna have some problems. Some problems. You know those kinds of problems, the, the green slime problems. I think Dan texted me again, but I'm busy, you know, hitting this ghost with this uh, proton stream. Trying to sap its energy. Oh, she just possessed another person. That's okay. That's up. Oh, no. Now we now we gotta slime this guy. Okay. I think someone just tried to hit me from behind. But we won't let them do that. Ow. Never mind. We will let them do that. Where's that ghost? I saw him. I saw her. I saw it. What is it? It's a possessor. Oh, crap. Oh, no. They killed, uh, or they knocked out Venkman, and they possessed Winston. That's not good. Trying to get around this pole. Okay. If one of these guys would love to help. There we go. That's it. So tell you what, after we catch this ghost, we'll pause the episode and see if Dan's ready to get back. All right, we'll see you on the next episode, everybody. Hopefully it uh, was more interesting than not.